under fire. Everybody, I'd like to just share a little decode with you about this uh, action that happened. This horrible, horrible explosion that took place in Washington yesterday, this uh, morning. So, it is about 5 a.m. Excuse me, I'm just a little bit just... I didn't even hear about this, but looking at this right away... Um, the E7 is a 57, and 57 stands for 5. E is the fifth letter of the alphabet, okay? And 7, 57, that is 5G. Seventh letter of the alphabet is G. Um, but A, B, C, D, E is 5. And then you got seven, but man, 5G. All right, and seven is, G is the seventh letter of the alphabet, okay? We've got a BFC, okay? Excuse me for just a moment. That equals 263 when you break it down. And it's a declaring, sorry about that, excuse me, um, just one moment, oh, I'm so sorry, okay, this is the place that blew up, they said they smelled gas, just like they did in, uh, Texas at that Fort Worth explosion, 1225, which we all know is Nimrod's birthday, and this was the little daycare uh, that blew up. So, this is just to give you some inspiration. Um, I just like to say we are reborn into a perfect inheritance that can, that can never perish, never be defiled, and never diminish. As God's children. Hallelujah. And we're secured forever. Come to Jesus Christ. A. Admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. B. Believe with all your mind, heart, and soul. And uh, um, on the blood that he shed upon the cross. C. Call upon his name and confess out loud. And D. is deliverance demonstrated upon receiving a water baptism. Just want to show you something. Whew. Okay, so flash fire was what this this man right here was his words that came out of his mouth. The I'm sorry, this other man. This man, look at that hat. I mean, first of all, just look at him. But it just says, uh, it says fire and EMS chief, Washington, D.C. Never seen a fire hat like that. Uh, but when he said it was a flash fire, he used that in his wording. I just need to show you guys something from that happened to me just a couple of weeks ago. And the Holy Spirit said, child, pay attention. Because we know that 8-4 is uh, Mr. O's birthday, right? And then 4-8 is the solar eclipse coming up on April 8th, right? But I want to show you something that just, why is there so many of these? This was what was, this is so crazy. I've been wanting to show this. I showed it at the end of one video, but it is important to read this, to see this. I want to show it to you. I have it right here. There we go. Okay, so when I got into the car and it just read straight across 16, 16, 16, I didn't really, I just looked at it and I just heard immediately, child, pay attention. And so in my mind, I'm like, oh, six plus one, seven, seven, seven. And then when I counted it and added it up, it's 48. 16 plus 16 plus 16 is four, eight. 
And then immediately when I thought of the 120, I thought about the 120 that were in the upper room that received the Holy Spirit. And so the Holy Spirit was definitely speaking to me. Yeah, that was uh, taken quite a little bit back, December 8th at 7.07 p.m. And so, let me get back to this here. Oh, the other thing is the three, and the three in the Strong's Concordance. These are all Strong's Concordance Bible. I'm not doing any kind of numerology, nothing to do with that, okay? But in the Strong's Concordance, this three shows up a couple times. That's, if you look it up in the Strong's Concordance Bible, that's Abaddon, the angel of the bottomless pit. point I wanted to make, because I just want to make this real quick, is that this is just getting worse and worse, and for them to just always use this excuse, oh, we smell gas, there's a gas leak, and everything's exploding all over the place, there's a lot of explosions taking place because of gas leaks, supposed gas leaks. Um, so just keep your eyes open. And your ears open, your eyes and your ears open, and pay attention. Pay close attention to what is taking place. And um, I just would like to ask you, sisters and brothers, to please pray for Japan. Because I woke up uh, just before 5 a.m. and this has been going on uh, the last three days in a row. And um, But just please pray for Japan because I have a horrible... Um, feeling that please just pray for them. I have a horrible feeling that they um, are about to encounter a severe, uh, a severe type of a, an event. Okay, so just please pray for Japan. Always pray for the state, the land of Israel. Not necessarily the things that are happening there, no, but just the land that belongs to God. Our God of Israel, our great Jehovah, uh, the El, the, the great almighty God El, and his son Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. And, but pray for Japan, pray for the, the land of Israel, um, and his true people, that the believers that are in Palestine and Israel, and all the surrounding areas in the Middle East that are enduring such harsh persecution. Christian persecution is just staggering over there right now. And um, I found out yesterday that they just put a bill in that is no longer going to allow Christian, any kind of Christian organizations or Christian parents to adopt in any kind of fostering or to adopt children because they're saying we're a danger and a threat to these children. But yet LGBT, um, that letter, alphabet, alphabet, <laughs> alphabet, what am I, I want to call it, alpha, uh, <laughs> the alphabet soup, let's just call it like that, the alphabet soup. Uh, people can go ahead and can take them into foster care and adopt them. But Christian parents are, uh, or Christian people are a threat to these children. And so they want to take the children. Um, that is a big deal. So please guard your children with your lives. And then um, my daughter's birthday is today, so I am going to be having a very nice day with her. And I will see you all later. I love you all so much. I just wanted to show you a few things. Just pay attention. It's, it's everywhere. And Jesus, Lord Jesus, Father in heaven, I just ask that you would hasten his coming. I pray your will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. And the more you pray the Lord's Prayer, people, the more that that will hasten Jesus's return. I believe that with all my heart, um, because I know that there is an appointed time for everything, but it is getting so outrageous everywhere, every single day. There's always something. It's like five, six different major key things going on every single day. You can hardly keep up with it. You can hardly keep up with it. But so please pray for Japan. And I know that we could go on and on and on. Pray for all people to just come to Jesus Christ in these very last moments before we don't we don't have a lot of time. Um, and four eight April fourth, or excuse me, April eighth is a judgment. There is judgment coming. It's just like in Nineveh. Um, where he went to warn Nineveh and there was a solar eclipse. Uh, solar eclipses represent judgment, complete judgment. Um, but this Xing out of the unit, everything is about the X, everything, if you haven't noticed. So we're at a crossroads and that is severe. We're at a big time crossroads in the history. The history of this world, the cycle is almost complete. And so just pray for all, pray for all to come to Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. All blessings and honor and glory and power unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you all, sisters and brothers, if you need prayers, please leave them in the comments. I love you all so much. Bye.